Good Monday morning, or Monday morning, <laughs> Monday evening, everyone. It's Monday night safety stop here on the Penny Royal Divers Group. JoJo, it is another Monday, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's still awfully late for it to be a Monday morning. <laughs> oh, man, let me tell you, it, it, it's it's just been one of those Mondays, you know. Uh, you know, if it uh, one thing leads to another, leads to another, and here we are getting a, getting a late start. and. You know, it was really funny uh, when I'd switched over trying to get everything going. Uh, I never could get the stream to connect. It, it always just stayed in a, like a, it wasn't live. So, you know, <laughs> technology, you know, life, it happens. <laughs> so you uh, you got a new, uh, new item in the mail, you know, for our upcoming uh, adventure. Uh, so what's it about? Oh, this bad boy? Yeah, that bad boy. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, first time going to Bonaire. So uh, like any good dive master, you're uh, doing your research on it. So, uh, you know, we have to learn about all the cool dive sites. There's pretty maps in it. 
you know, it tells you kind of how to handle the terrain and, you know, what to expect when you get there, what to see. Uh, even even in some of the sites, it says, hey, look here for, uh, you know, lionfish or whatnot. Just little cool little hints like that, that uh, you would really only know if you're a, a regular or local diving there on a day-to-day basis. Gotcha. So, well, and you know, like you, this will be my first time to Bonaire. And, uh, you know, I've been to Curacao, which is kind of right next door to it, but I've never dove Bonaire. So as far as, uh, you know, knowing it, you know, knowing where to go, the dive sites and stuff, you know, you always get people who always tell you, oh, yeah, I've been there. You know, you need to dive this, dive that, dive that. By the time you get all the list, you've got like, 80 dive sites that you know everybody's recommending and it's like okay how do i narrow this down because unless i'm in the water 24 hours a day i'm not gonna hit all these sites <laughs> well i'm already highlighting where it says let's go find the turtles or go to this part of the island if you want to see you know, bigger animals you know or, or or for cool structures let's go to this one like the salt pier you can go dive the big salt pier out there that's that's it a big that- one that yeah, I was going to say, that's a big one that I've had several people talk about. Uh, and I think it's the, uh, it's something about as long as there's no ships there or something, nobody yeah. docked there. We have to check the ports. Uh, there's a website we can go to, and I'm pretty sure the resort can help us uh, with that one in the morning as well if we decide to go there. Probably. Uh, but yeah, as long as there's no ships there, it's free game. Parking on both sides of the pier tells me where to park, which is, you know. <laughs> Does um, it come with a with an anti theft device? Because I've been told that when you when you have a vehicle like that and you go on the island, it's best to leave the windows down and nothing in the vehicle. That's pretty much. It's hot, so leave the windows down or they're just going to bust the windows out to get to whatever they want. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I got, uh, I don't got it with me, but I got, you know, they look like little cigarette cases and they're waterproof and I won't stick my license and, you know, my lunch money in there and, you know, throw the keys in there. Yeah. Wrap it on real quick and it's good to go. There you go. Right. It's going to be like I'm present for right now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it looks like, uh, looks like Mr. Howard's in the house tonight. Uh, you're more than welcome. I had no idea you were in Cancun, Mexico. Uh, he called me the other night and, or the other day and, uh, was needing, uh, verification. Uh, he was going to go diving. I assumed he was in Florida, but, uh, okay. You know, Hey, Cancun, even better. Cancun. <laughs> I'll take Cancun. Yeah. Uh, they, Damon's in here. Good evening, sir. He's he recommends the salt here, so I guess we'll have to put that on the uh, on the list to do. Uh, yeah, um, nice map of the uh, north side of the island where you know this is all the uh, nobody lives here. It's uh, what do they call it a reserve. So okay, you know, get in there. There's caves and. Stuff in there you get to go to explore. Now, at the northern part of the island, we do have some current we got to deal with. So, and the terrain isn't as easy to get in and out of the water. So, you got to watch your footing. Good boots. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, so, no boat shoes. Has to be real boots. Yeah, boat shoes, they real don't booties. Work. You're going to have to have heels. The, <laughs> the beaches here are pretty much coral rubble. Yeah. And you might find this interesting. Let me find it in here, Chris. Uh, okay. Are we doing scuba trivia tonight or something? <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. It's right next door to our reef. Okay. You find it. All right. So it's right next door to the Early- reef. Huh? If you say next door, it's a five dollar parking fee to use their reef. But since we're next door at Bon Air, we just swim over and we got a nice little shipwreck. I don't know if you can see it. Eh. Okay. Yeah, right there. But uh, it ain't nothing big, but I mean it's uh you know, fifty feet of water and we can swim right over there and swim right back. Just there you right go. next to our uh, house reef. 
There you go. Damon, Damon's on here. He says yellow rocks on road marks the dive spots. So yep. we, we need to make sure we take note of that. We see a yellow spot in the road. All right, stop it. Get the gear out. Let's go. <laughs> uh, so you know, and another little thing, because we got to stop and get some lunch somewhere. So a little dive mat to, uh, you know, help. I, I, I had to find out for the day. Yeah, I was going to say, I, if you see me keep turning my head, that's because of my output monitor, because the, the yeah, one I'm right on my camera here. is really, really small. So in order to see Joe's maps and stuff, I have to look over on my big screen to uh, to be able to pull up. Actually, I can probably do one better than that, JoJo. Here, let, let me... Uh, you can Google the map, yeah. Yeah, but, but uh, I can I, also do this, too, where it brings you into, into focus, so... Now you can okay. hold it up and so I can actually see it. Let me turn off the light. <laughs> ah, there you go. But over 80 dive sites. <laughs> All there, we get to explore. Yeah, there's a, looks like there's a lot of, lot of marks on that map of uh, places we're going to have to stop. I'm excited. I'm getting all worked up. <laughs> well, you know, we're only a few weeks away. So, you know, like, what, 10, 11 weeks, something like at 12, eh, maybe a little more, but, you know. <laughs> yep. Yep, Damien said, wear thick shoes, got a lot of urchins. You see, uh, you know, most of them ain't nothing but a 50 foot walk out to the reef, but, uh, you know. Thick shoes is going to be a lifesaver. I've also heard take a retractable cane with you, too, to help uh, give you an extra hand and get it in yourself. and out of the water. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've been told that as well. And, uh, you know, uh, of course, you know, something else I've looked into as well, we do on our Roatan trips are or is lionfish hunting. And they do allow it. With the lionfish program, I think it what 100, 150 bucks, and they give you uh, the a pole spear. Now, from what I've understood, it's this one particular type of pole spear, and it's the only one allowed. Uh, what was it? We looked it up the other night. Uh, it's called an elf. E L F. Elf. Yeah, an elf pole spear. I want the Santa Claus version. Yeah. <laughs> and it's it, it's spring loaded so you know i've not i've seen pictures of them but i have not had one to tinker with so it, it's going to be interesting uh i mean hey okay you know it is what it is if i get to line fish hunt i'm good <laughs> yeah uh and of course you know as always you know we're going to be taking along the cameras with us we're going to be putting uh you know, putting videos and stuff together. Uh, and of course, you know, like we did in Roatan, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be able to do a, a remote Monday, that Monday night that we're there. So yeah. I'll have, have all of that. Am I going to be sick this time? Uh, I don't know. Well, you remember Roatan, you was behind the scenes. I had to move the camera just to get a picture of you. <laughs> Uh, it happens in Roatan. If it happens in uh, Bonaire, then we know you just have a a, a, a scuba travel sickness. That's what it is. Something, you know. <laughs> something, something doesn't like me when I travel down there. But you know, I've taken cruises down there and never had an issue. Yeah, you know, could just be something you eat. You don't think about it, and then a couple of days later, it catches up with you for a day. Could be because I do eat. Uh, oh yeah, Everything. yeah. I like, mean, oh, I've never had this before. It looks disgusting, but I put it in my mouth. <laughs> hey, as long as it's not moving, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, too bad, too bad. During our dives, we can't bring dinner back. That that would be awesome. Well, you do know they do the uh, lionfish cooking right there at the resort. Yes, yes. So that'll be so that'll if be. Y'all decide to do the course, do some lionfish hunting. We can and bring I, it back and they'll do it right for us. And, and I do know for a fact our our two big line fish hunters in Roatan are going <laughs> with us. So 
Oh, you might as well just go on and book their excursion right now. We're going to head to the north side of the island where there aren't many people, and we're going to get this thing done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it. That was one of the first questions asked was, can we line fish hunt? And I had to look it up, and I'm like, yes, you can, but here's what you have to do. So, you know, and they're like, uh, count us in. We're going line fish hunting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's you know, compared to that and Rotan, I mean, they got windsurfing, kite surfing, uh, cave exploring, cave snorkeling. You know, just there's a lot of cool little stuff on this island that you know, a lot of people can do, even if you're not diving. So, uh, real quick, you know, if you're on here, you're watching, you've been to Bonaire, throw us up some uh, suggestions. You know, things that you've done that uh, you know that that you found interesting maybe things to, to stay away from because you know again this is our this is going to be our first go around uh traveling to bonaire you know for a diving uh diving week and so uh favorite places to eat you know we're going to definitely be looking you know because we're not staying at the resort 24 7 like we do on typical uh uh adventures like to roatan you know, we'll be getting yeah. able to get out and about, you know, because that's that's pretty much what Bonaire is. I don't think there's very many places that, you know, do the I call it uh, all in one at the resort where you're there the whole week. You dive there the whole week. You eat there the whole week. Uh, it's pretty much they feed you breakfast, pat you on the back and say, enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um that's one of the big draws to me is the freedom that we're going to have when we come to this. It's literally just put a finger somewhere and go get in the water. I mean, that just, <laughs> yes. That's you, you ever seen that meme where there's like four divers, they're all suited up in the car and go, Ooh, is that puddle divable? <laughs> That's what this is like. <laughs> Hey, can we? Is that deep enough? Can will our computers <laughs> register that? <laughs> uh, so Damon says, night dives beware. Uh, the large uh, tarpons they hunt with your lights. I I'd already been that. told that that they uh, that you know don't be surprised to see them because they will follow you and they're they're hunting. So. Uh, I, I did, did know about that, uh, and I'm sure there's going to be several night dives over the course of the week because, I mean, that's the great thing about Bon Air uh, is, you know, you can dive any time of the day or night. All you got to do is go down and grab your gear, grab a tank, go off the house reef, uh, you know, if you don't want to get out and about, which I don't know how Bon Air is at night. But, uh, I mean, I'm good with walking down to the dock and throwing a tank on and making a dive. Yeah, the more salt water I get, the better. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get as much dry rot. <laughs> Damon says there's a grocery store downtown, too. And that's a good thing uh, about Buddies yeah. is, you know, it, it's like a, apartments that we're staying in. And so, you know, we've got kitchen with uh, refrigerator, microwave, stove, and all that. So I got a feeling probably one of the first things we will be doing is hunting down the grocery store. So downtown, I will make a note of that so that, yeah, you know. Yeah, my understanding is there's two decent, you know, if one doesn't have one, the other one does. Uh, and then they also got like a beer and wine shop, too. That and may I be mean, handy. You all say me YouTubing crap. <laughs> so if you when we get, know better. So when we get ready to go on a trip, you know, this is what JoJo does because you know he he eats, breathes, and sleeps diving. You know, mm -hmm. I, I try to eat and breathe it, but when I go to sleep, you know, I I, I yeah. So JoJo is a little more on <laughs> diving on the brain. So you know. <laughs> he he's always researching and so and that's what makes him a good dive master you know he well, he you know he knows these things uh john we, huh? 
when everybody else is tuckered out, you still want to go for one more. Look me up. <laughs> well, you you do realize a year ago we were sitting in uh, in North Florida doing some spring diving. Yeah, that was rough on me. <laughs> uh, John, you know, we huh? You did kind of get me back in the movement on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm ready to load up and go again, but you know, <laughs> I, I can, I can probably swing a weekend trip, you know, <laughs> uh, John, we're staying at buddies, uh, buddies resort, buddies dive resort. Uh, and the funny thing about it is, is that, uh, our friends from Island hoppers is going down the exact same time. So nice. the only only uh i ain't gonna say the only but the plane is gonna be full and the only airlines that's flying when we go is american so it uh you know it kind of makes sense that uh we're gonna know a lot of people on this plane (laughs) well well, with the rotan last year who we run into oh i know i mean you know that's that's a good thing about being divers and you know, you don't you don't know who you're going to run into, and you know Roatan. You know, we had the guys from Mermet up there or on the plane with us. Uh, Waikiki, I think was it Waikiki or Great American, one of the two. I think it was Waikiki. Uh, I can't remember. Uh, but we we had another group, you know, from St. Louis, you know, that comes uh, every once in a while. You know, so we knew some of them, and so you know, it's always awesome. You never know who you're going to run into. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just standing there, getting ready to, you know, get into the country, and hey, Joe, how's it going? <laughs> oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> uh, yeah, Howard says he'll be living close to the spring, so let him know. Let him let him know when we come down. Uh, so yeah. You know, I almost made a phone call and said, let's go down tomorrow. <laughs> we got bad weather coming in. My contract is not going to be there all week. <laughs> I was like, here we go. Unfortunately, the kids got sports this weekend. so uh, Yeah, that does get in the way. Uh, Damon says, right. are we doing any boat dives or just short? Damon, we're actually, we've got one boat dive per day. Uh, now I'm not sure if that's a morning dive or afternoon dive, uh, but I do know there's, there's one boat dive included, uh, if people want to do it, but it's pretty much, you know, if you want to do the boat dive, you can, if you want to go out on the, uh, island and, you know, do shore dives, it's up to the, up to the divers. So, uh, we don't really technically have an itinerary. You know, the whole group's going to do this, do that. Uh, You know, it's kind of wide open. And that way, you know, everybody, if they want to dive as a group, they can. If they want to go, one one group wants to dive this site, one group wants to dive this site, you know, we can kind of split it up. Uh, You know, it's it's kind of like like JoJo said, you know, it's kind of like freedom of diving. You know, we're not set by a uh by a schedule okay well we've got two dives in the morning lunch a dive in the afternoon we're done we eat we socialize we go to bed so Mm -hmm. i mean it it's it's my first time doing a trip like this and so i may i may love it i may hate it i don't i don't know you know it's uh it's all about trying new things and uh you know that's one thing that if there's more diving I'm all up for, you know, doing three, four dives a day. Uh, so that'll be great. Uh, let's see. Uh, John says, uh, great place, food, fun bar, and great staff that he's been there a lot over the years. So, you know, coming from John, which, you know, if I ever have a, play, a question about a place, he's going to be the one to call because I know he's traveled to all of these places. And, <laughs> you know, he can, he can kind of point and, uh, you know, give some good directions. We've got some great mentors, you know, uh, great, great resources to, uh, to rely on John being one of them, uh, you know, just so many years in the industry and, 
you know, it's it's great to have people like that that you can you can turn to and ask. Uh, Damon says, watch for donkeys too. Now, funny story. Now, I know most of our our viewers probably don't know know this particular diver, and I'm not going to call any names. Uh, but she doesn't dive a whole lot at the quarry. She she's more of going on trips with us and. <clears throat> you know who I'm talking about. Yeah. All right. So she made friends with this particular donkey at Roatan. And, Molly. huh? Molly. <laughs> Molly. Molly's her name. The donkey's name. Oh, yeah. But that, what did they call her? Wilhelmina. <laughs> Wilhelmina. Yeah. <laughs> they, they kept calling her Wilhelmina. So she, and she's the sweetest person you'll ever meet. But she would get bananas and take to her room. And in the mornings, the donkey was standing at her door. She would open the door. The donkey would step in to get the banana. <laughs> so she, if they've got a ton of donkeys down there, she's going to be in donkey heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the shenanigans we find ourselves in, JoJo. <laughs> oh, I haven't been on a trip yet that we just haven't been rolling on our way back. <laughs> well, you know, and that that's the wonderful thing about, uh, you know, about the, the sport we all love and enjoy is, <clears throat> you know, you always have fun. You know, going on trips like this, that you always have fun. And, you know, for divers who may be watching that that don't take trips, don't go on trips with groups or their local dive shops, uh, you know, that's if, if you haven't taken a trip with your local dive shop or with a group, uh, you know, you don't know how much fun you're missing out on. You know, yeah, it's always, a, you know, uh, the logistics and all that are typically worked out, um, you know, when you go through your local dive shop, um, you know, but again, it's always fun. You know, you get there, you can relax. It's warm. There's no snow <laughs> or ice <laughs> except in your glass. <laughs> uh, you know, so, you know, it's always, uh, you know, it's always an adventure and that's what I love about it. So. This is this is not going to be any different, you know. It's it's something new, I've never done, so it's going to be fun. Yep, I'm right there with you. I'm ready to go. Let's see. Uh, Damon says the south end of the island uh, will find pink flamingos. Yep. Okay. That's uh, how they explain it. They the algae bloom where they had the salt fields. And then the flamingos go over there and eat the algae, and then that's what turns them pink. Ah, huh. okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I didn't know that. You know, I thought there was actual pink flamingos. I mean, <laughs> not be down there by the uh, salt pier in that yeah. area. And there's also a double reef down there too. You got one reef, and you swim over to the next reef. Yeah, right along with each other. So. I so, so do you have all the emergency contact information down too? I you know, do. ah, I do. see, that's I do. what dive masters are are awesome for. You know, <laughs> yeah, because I haven't started working on that yet. <laughs> there, there, there's the peak flats he was talking about. Uh, oh yeah, kind of hard for light, but yeah, and then. Uh, just so you know all eyes are on you <laughs> that's all good you know emergency contact information well there you go <laughs> not too spiffy for me that, huh? i'm actually doing a decent <laughs> job here <laughs> now you know that that's that's kind of uh kind of cheating on the job you're supposed to research these things i did research it <laughs> Somebody beat me to it. <laughs> Somebody beat you to it. You just found it, right? Put it in a nice little uh, handy book. I got it off of Amazon. Uh, Bonaire Scuba Dive, Snorkel and Reef. Uh, I don't even know who the author is. Uh, oh. 
Well, as long as it's got all the pertinent information, that's really it's all we need. Dot com, obviously. Yeah. But, you know, so far, it's been a good read for me when I'm sitting around twiddling my thumbs. Yeah. Well, and especially, you know, you said the weather coming in. I mean, you know, what a better time to sit and read about, you know, the warm water diving, you know, sitting there and, you know, daydreaming about being there. <laughs> Year round, eighty five degrees. You know, <laughs> That's the water's the same. Fairly uh, current, eighty feet of visibility. I mean, yeah, that, that, hey, that sounds that that just sounds horrible, JoJo. That just sounds <laughs> completely terrible. I, I would not not want to be involved with that. <laughs> My fingers were crossed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I could definitely, definitely handle some 80 degree water. Let me tell you. <laughs> At this point in the juncture, I could handle 72 degree water, you know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we're really looking forward to it. Uh, if you're, uh, if you're on here watching, you're getting ready to, uh, you're getting ready to travel somewhere, throw it up in the comments. Uh, you know, we definitely love to see, you know, where everybody's traveling to, uh, you know, that way <clears throat> when you get back, you can let us know, you know, what, uh, what the kind of, uh, experience you had, where you went and, you know, any, any interesting things seen, you know, rays, sharks, uh, you know, dive with dolphins, whale sharks, you know, <laughs> that's, that, that's my ultimate bucket list goal right there is to encounter a whale shark in uh in the wild, in the wild? yeah yeah, yeah I, that's the reason that i haven't been to georgia aquarium yet because yeah you know i could go and do a dive with whale sharks it's not the same. It, but you know if you can encounter one in the wild okay that's awesome then i'll go to the aquarium you know yeah, I went there. Of course, they're cool. Don't get me wrong; <laughs> they're cool. Uh, they weren't like school bus size at the aquarium. They, you know, they're tank size. I don't yeah. know how they do it. What they quit feeding them or whatnot? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just looking here, uh, Damon and Pupper. Speaking of cooking, uh, he said their group did a spaghetti meal. Uh, each uh, each suite had a part. Two rooms did pasta, two uh, meat sauce, and one did salad and bread. You know that's an that's awesome idea. You know, yes, that is. You know, I putting, like that. Putting together, you know, a group meal like that. <clears throat> you know, hot look right there. The yeah. Room. yeah. Hey, that's that's yeah, a great that's idea. Good. I'm I'm definitely going to take take his word on that one, and mm -hmm. we'll have to we'll have to see about that when we get down there. I also heard we got to hit the food trucks up when we go to the southern end of the island. Towards the South food East. trucks. Food trucks. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Are they like taco trucks or burrito trucks? Or? The one I see was like a seafood truck. Seafood. Okay. Yeah. I think it's a burger truck and stuff. But I guess down there where it's kind of open, that's where the, you know, the food trucks go for all the divers. Gotcha. Well, I know we were in Cozumel back in 2003. It's been 19 years ago. And uh, I actually, no, let me back up. Let me back. It wasn't the first time. It was the second time we went, uh, which would have been 2012. Okay. Yeah, 2012. When we actually, we rented a Jeep and, and explored the island. And on Cozumel... And I don't know if it's still this way or not, <clears throat> but there was a beautiful little beach that had a, a little cantina set up. Uh, you know, had like, like a little flea market where you could get like local craft stuff. And then they had a little, uh, uh, for lack of better terms, a restaurant. Uh, you know, they served meals and drinks and stuff, but it didn't have electricity. And they didn't run generators. So it was like they cooked with propane and like their drinks were uh, in coolers. They brought you a bottle of drink uh, out of the cooler, you know, with ice. And you could sit there and, you know, eat your burger and, 
all that, your fries, and then go out because it had a really nice sandy beach area. And, uh, you know, it, uh, it, it was a really nice place. So, you know, if they have something like, like that with the food trucks or whatnot, which, you know, I get it. You know, most of the beaches, like you said, are, are coral, uh, rubble and stuff, but still, I mean, we had a great time. Oh yeah. Yeah. I love little places like that. Find those little mom and pop places. Oh yeah. I know a fish place down in florida it's off the beaten path it's absolutely delicious it's a drive to get there but i do it every time i get in that area it's over on the golf course golf coast uh, towards tampa but it's absolutely it's to drive pretty much through that part of the everglades <laughs> I mean, gotcha it's worth the drive out there though yeah oh uh, well you know <laughs> even when that spot we found the last time we went the what now? Oh, we post. You posted it last yesterday on Facebook. Oh, the Crab Shack. Yeah, that place was phenomenal too. Oh yeah, hole in the wall. You know, if you're going to, uh, you know, to North Florida, you're doing springs or, or or whatnot, and you go through. Was that uh, what town was that? Was it Dothan or Valdosta? It was close. I don't think it was exactly Valdosta, but it was close to that. It was southern Georgia. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was like a stone's throw to the the state line. But we, fa- well, I say we. JoJo found, you know, this little this thing on Google called something Crab Shack. I can't remember the name of it, it now. Was Jack's Crab Shack. Yeah, Jack's. Yeah, J A X. J A X was what it was. Jack's Crab Shack. And you know, of course, when we pulled up. You know, it was like, okay, this is kind of a sketchy looking place. <laughs> you know, so we walk in and, you know, there's a handful of people in there. and But the food was phenomenal. The service was great. And, you know, so like JoJo said, you know, it's a great little place. But of course, you know, the, uh, oh, that barbecue place we had, uh, we ate in Chiefland wasn't bad. No, I wasn't bad at all. And they served breakfast. Yeah. We go to breakfast, but it was like oh, three buffets a day if you wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And it's been a year I've been eating salads. So, <laughs> you know, and it's it, I've ever seen you eat and you uh, still eat them. <laughs> and it's still, I had one tonight. And it started right there in that little barbecue place in Chiefland, Florida. I'll, I'll never forget it. <laughs> oh. I remember us all looking at you go, what is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> I was having restaurant COVID withdrawals. <laughs> That's what it was. Because everything up here was shut down. Uh, you couldn't go anywhere to eat. You had to door dash or pick it up, drive through, whatnot. I was able to sit down, and by golly, there was a salad bar. It was food. <laughs> All you could eat, freaking barbecue. I, I, my plate was jam packed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so if you've never taken a, a scuba trip or you've never traveled with the with your group or local dive shop. Uh, again, these are just some of our little shenanigans and, you know, things, you know, it shows we have an awesome time when we go diving and we're not, not an exception to the rule. Everybody, you know, through your local dive shops and all that, uh, you know, I I have to recommend joining them on a trip where they're going, especially if they've been there before they know, uh, you know, it makes a phenomenal time. You have fun. And uh, you never know what kind of shenanigans you're going to get into. (laughs) Kind of like when we done Key Largo here a couple of years ago. What was that? 2020? Yeah, it was the the replacement for Roatan because we got shut down on it. And uh, here we are, you know, trying to scramble to find a dive boat to get on because we were itching to dive. (laughs) And, uh, 
Yeah, I mean, we it, it was bad enough. We were even to the point we scouted out a saltwater rock quarry. Yeah, it was getting that bad. Let's go to another rock quarry. <laughs> I mean, come on, you know, you know it's bad. Uh, you know it's bad when you get a bunch of inland divers in the keys. They can't go out and dive, so they research rock quarries to go diving. Well, there's a rock quarry down the. What, really? What? 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 <laughs> uh, John just typed in, said his internet is buffering, buffering bad tonight. Not able to listen for some reason. Well, I, you know, I've noticed on mine too uh, that occasionally it'll come up and say live feed interrupted, and but uh, but the software is still showing. I've had a steady stream. So uh, Facebook has had some issues in the last couple of weeks with live streams and stuff. So I mean, it very well could be possible it's something something to do with that, some residual, but. Oh, anywho, yeah, we always have fun, and that's the name of the game. We don't, uh, we don't go diving just because we have to. We go diving because we love it. <laughs> uh, Jojo, the original merman. <laughs> no, actually, that's dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh goodness. To him, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and that's I, i'm kind of surprised i don't know if he you know he forgot it was monday night because normally he'll pop in and say hi and i haven't seen him pop in tonight so not today yeah no telling i guess that means i need to call and check on him <laughs> uh <clears throat> Well, Jojo, we are approaching that nine o'clock hour. Uh, we're about five minutes till. And uh, any any final thoughts or comments? I know you're excited about Bonaire, so. I'm also, you know, North Carolina will be here in six months too. So I'm excited to get back with the the Rex and the uh, Tiger Sharks again. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, and that that ought to be a fun. It's a quick trip. It's a weekend long. Uh, that ought to be a be a fun trip. You know, it is diving Saturday and Sunday, and but I mean, it's on the boat. It's again, it's it's a jam packed weekend. You ain't gonna, have, you know, have a moment's time down. And we'll get there, get settled in, find something to eat. Get up in the morning and get on the boat real nice and early before the sun comes up. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, yeah, it's a blast. Uh, I recommend yeah. uh, getting signed up for it. Get your deposit down. Get it in. I will probably, I guess, push register. See if we can get a few more people on it. And push uh, booking until the end of February. So, please... You know, you're interested, get a deposit down on it so I can get you on the boat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's uh <clears throat> that's one thing about, you know, some of these trips and stuff. Uh of course, you know, different trips have different different deadline dates. Like I know Bonaire the deadline date was to today was today. And uh well, so the, we'll be huh? The thing I have is that the bookings go fast. So to guarantee us yeah. a spot, I, I gotta do it. Oh yeah, so, yeah. So. I mean, I wish I could do it three months out and say, "Hey, this is the list." But in all honesty, uh, the boat will be filled by then, and I don't want to give it a chance for everybody to go. And so, yeah, more but, <laughs> you know, and you do need to stress as well. You know, this is an advanced open water trip uh, yes, because because of the depths, and uh, <clears throat> so <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, you know, so not all trips are like that, but, uh, you know, these, the average depth's what, a hundred foot? Yeah, a hundred, I mean, you'll max out at 120 if you absolutely want to go down and touch the bottom. You know, it's not necessary. Recommended to be on Nitrox would be diving Nitrox 30. That's optimal gas for there, so you'll get about a 30 minute dive out of it. Um, and, you know, nice service interval, then do it again. 
Might be on the same wreck. Might be on a completely different wreck. So you know, we missed the submarine by this much. The uh, current was too strong. We ended up going to another one. So, you know, and that's that's the that's the funny thing about diving. Yeah, you can dive on the same wreck, you know, repetitively, and you're always going to see different things. Yeah, you can go down one side on on one of the dives, and down the other side the next one, and it, two completely different dives. Exactly. You're going out of things to see. Yep, you are exactly correct. So, and then the uh, the shark swimming around is a uh, a nice little bow on top because that's just amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, just before we uh, before we get signed off, just so everybody knows, the uh, the official park season is April the 9th, opening day to November the thirteenth, which is the closing day. Uh, season passes if you are a season pass holder uh, they went out today so you should be receiving those in the mail in the next uh, couple of days so uh, I know we had initially <clears throat> you know put if you wanted us to hold it or if you wanted us to mail it and there was we had several that wanted them to be mailed so we just ended up mailing them to everybody so uh, so yeah so expect your season pass should be in the mail uh, along with uh, your letter, how to get in and use the express check-in for 2021. We are continuing with our express check-in. So that'll help alleviate lines coming in and get you down to the water faster. Uh, you know, and right now we're in the, uh, the uh, maintenance and upgrade phase of the year. So, you know, got a lot of a lot of projects on the board and uh hopefully we'll have most of them knocked out before April 9th. I think that's all I've got, Jojo. All righty. That's all I got. <laughs> all right. Well, if it looks like questions, let us know. All right. Well, it looks like we are down to one viewer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I don't know if it's you or me or if, if this thing even counts it right. So I, I can't tell you. But, uh, you know, as always, you know, we enjoy coming together Monday nights, uh, sitting here talking about different things, scuba, uh, you know, from travel to equipment to classes. Uh, it doesn't matter, you know, if it's talking about something underwater, you know, I'm all about it. And, I, and of course, you know, you're speaking JoJo's native language there, you know, uh, you know, it's his own, own little language of scuba. So, <laughs> but, uh, we appreciate you guys, you know, tuning in with us on Monday nights, uh, always a great time. You know, we get to get to spend a little, little bit of time in the off season, you know, setting and chit chatting about scuba and that's, you know, coming back to that real quick, you know. That's one of the great things about visiting your local dive shop is, you know, you can walk in and you don't have to buy anything, but, you know, you can sit there and chit chat and talk scuba, find out new, you know, what's going on, new trips, new classes, you know, uh, you know, it's real easy to, to walk in and, uh, you know, find out what your local dive shop's doing. So, you know, in this off season, I do encourage you guys to, uh, Check in with your, your local dive shop. Find out what's going on. But more importantly, if you haven't had your equipment serviced, get it in. The good thing about this time of year, it's not usually real busy. So they can usually get your gear in, get it done, get it back to you. That way, when season rolls around, you're good. If you wait until closer to the season, then that's when everybody wants to get their gear in and, and start getting it serviced. So, you know, you can, you can expect some, uh, some backup time and with the supply issues, you know, service kits and stuff like that, you know, so I recommend getting it in early so that you can have it ready for the season. Uh, I think, I think that's all of my public, uh, what do you call it? Public <laughs> service announcements, PSAs. <laughs> <laughs> all right well since it's that nine o'clock hour jojo uh you know it's always a pleasure yeah, we, we can always kick back and and sit here and chit chat 
for everybody watching, uh, again, we appreciate you tuning in, watching with us. Uh, can't wait to do it again next Monday night, right here, only on the Penny Royal Divers Group. We're Monday Night Safety Stop. We are the kings of everything. One single person can make a difference. And that person is you. You can spark change for the ocean. We need passionate people who care about our planet because it will take all of us to make things better. There is a growing community of explorers and adventurers coming together. A community that cares deeply about healing the planet above and below the surface. Together, we are turning passion into purpose to protect what we love. We're a community of torchbearers, sparking change for the ocean and inspiring others to follow our light. Your light will make us stronger and our future brighter. Spark change for the ocean. Be a torchbearer.